On today's Hour of Mari, everyone wants only one thing, the truth. Because he found out about something that happened 12 years ago. You did cheat on him. Yes, I did, Mari. Aliyah walked out and left Tamika alone with their eight children. Eight children. Yes, Mari. Now, he's here for the DNA results of their four youngest children. If you're the father, you're going to come back home. I will take her home, I will come back home, and I may be married. Four incredible results are in. And what happens is unforgettable. And this hour has even more shocking DNA drama. Buster claims Crystal's just a club rat. And he won't acknowledge these two little boys. Even though he lives right next door to them. The only thing separating you all is a fence. A little bit of fence. Two children and two unforgettable results. <laughs> Plus, Antoine knows his fiance cheated. This is some situation to be in, Kira. And that another man could be the real father of three-year-old Antoine Jr. I made a mistake, more. But what he doesn't know is that the other possible father is his longtime friend, Regis. The test results are in. Are you ready for the truth? Everyone, this is Tamika. Welcome, Tamika, to the show. Tamika, Tamika, count them, is the proud mother of eight children. But she is drowning literally in her parental responsibilities because two months ago, the father of her eight children, Alaya, abandoned them. And the, and the reason is, Alaya claims he knows Tamika cheated. He is now claiming the youngest four children are not his. This is his very specific reason why he says he's not the dad. I've been off and on with Tamika for 14 long years. And every time we have a break, it seems like she always get pregnant and come up with another child. We supposedly have eight children together. The last four, I don't believe is mine. First we have Yaima. When she got pregnant, I was out of town and we was on a break. One of my oldest children told me when I was gone, she had a man in the house the whole entire time. Next we have King David. A mutual acquaintance of ours told me that she was having sex with somebody else and the baby was not mine. Next we have Yamika. This time I found Facebook messages from her to another man, from another man to her. He must be the father. Last but not least, we have Yael. This baby have a much different complexion than me and if she gave him another last name, Tamika been lying to me from day one, I feel. And I'm not going to come back around till I know the truth. How about that? I am so pissed. How could he do that? How could he do that? I gave him 15 years of my life. I know for a fact them still are here. And today, I will prove it. So, you are a young woman taking care of eight children. Yes, Maury. By myself. I do everything for my babies. And it should be 50 50. He's going to Day. Okay, so here we are. I, I, I just got to know what this day is like. The, the oldest four, they're in school? Yes. You, you get them on the bus or something? Yes. And then what happens to and the then, youngest four? Then I have to get up with them. I have to feed them. I have to make bottles. I have to change them. Back myself. I can't rest, and it's hard. It's hard. I yeah. need that extra support from but, their father. But, there's, but there was a time he was there. Yes, Maury, it was a time he was there, but he always leaving when he wants to leave, and he had denied them and say that's his excuse. Oh, so he says, I got to go. He leaves. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. And it's not Maury. And then he says... He says, I cheat on him. Yeah, when he leaves. Yes. Every time he leaves, you come up pregnant. Mm -hmm. That's what he says. But that's because we're having sex. So I'm going to come up pregnant. But he's saying I'm doing this with other guys, and it's not true. Do they look like him? Maury, they look exactly like him. Maury, exactly like him. Look at my daughter. Look at my daughter. The same eyes. The same nose. They look just alike, Maury. Just alike. Oh, God, look at y'all, Mika. Look at the eyes. Look at their eyes. And they go, and y'all, ew. Yeah, you got my color. But their face is exactly alike. 
So he says, he says the littlest one, Yael, too light. Too dark because me. So I'm too dark. dark. Yes, and oh, he's he, light. Oh, yeah, I but see. But I'm dark, so he looks like me. The youngest. Yes. He looks like you. Yes, he has he, my color. So he thinks the color's all wrong. Yes, and he's wrong. He's and wrong. Today he's going to find out. Are you sure? <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing, Tanika. A long time ago, when you all were first getting together, you did cheat on him. Yes, I did, Maury, but I was young then. You were what? I was young. Yeah. I was young. And but we he's holding that up that if you did it then, then you must have done it with all That's these kids. That's not true. That's not true. Okay. I did not cheat on him. These children are his. And we're going to find out today. <laughs> okay. Well, we might as well see him, all right? Yes. By the way, you want to be with him? No. What? I mean, if we can work this out, because for the sake of our children, then I would. If he could change and do what he need to do to take care, help me take care of them, then we might can work this out. Okay, Alaya, here he is. Alaya, nice to see You've been together a long time. Yes, sir. Eight kids. Yes, sir. Long time. And those four aren't yours? No, sir. Why not? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. I don't believe they're mine because I didn't been gone away. And when I come back home, children tell me that guys not been true. in the house. That's not and true. I feel as if a guy's been in the house and maybe there's sex going on. And if maybe there's sex going on, then maybe it's another father. That's you know? just an excuse. Maybe that's just an excuse. You? Don't those kids look like you? Just they can like look like you. any light skinned guy. Just like you. Just any light skin guy. Did you sign the birth certificates for those no, four? Sir. No, you sir. did not? Why would I sign a birth certificate and I don't even know if the child mine? <laughs> right, let's, 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 go, let's go down. Let's go down from the start. Four year old Yahima. Yours? Or why not? I don't think Yahim was mine because when I was out of town and I came back into town, yep. my son told me it was a guy in the house, which was a past friend of mine, and I'm like, maybe he's nothing. the father. Okay, That's let's go excuse. to King David. Why isn't King David yours? King David, because when I came back once again from a break, all of a sudden, she had a baby and we were just together and for two two seconds and two but weeks. That, that's not mad. We have to say, we have to say around that time. It's a possibility that you can be the father. I, I don't, I don't know. know. What about Yamika? What about Yamika? Yamika, I didn't see messages on Facebook from her to another guy. She so was out of from town. A guy, I, was I not had to come back in town. town. I, didn't even I had to come back in guy. town I, just I to just see a baby to know if it was a And what about Yael? What about Yael, the little one? Yael. I'd have seen Texas from one guy to another, and she was actually there. She was the baby at another name. She had the baby at another last name. The baby at another last name. My last name. Well, why can't the children have the Elias. same Elias. last name? Eliah, Eliah, if you're the father of these kids, you're going to come back home? If these children come about to be my right. children, right. I will take care of them, I will come back home, and I may be married. <laughs> Alive. When it comes to four-year-old Yahima, three-year-old King David, one-year-old Yamika, nine-month-old Yael, Aliyah. Four incredible DNA results are coming up, and what happens is unforgettable. <laughs> it's two teen girls in an all-out paternity war. Ashley's son is denied. Smash! Ashley!
and she blames Louis's girlfriend. He says Ashley just wants him back. She is obsessed, Maury. I'm obsessed. She says Louis's the father. But what will the DNA say? The test results are in. Are you ready for the truth? Everyone, this is Ashley. Welcome Ashley to the show. Now, when Ashley... When Ashley was just 17, she found out the shocking news she was pregnant with their son, Isaiah. Look at him. Look at that cutie. Now, as scared as she was, Ashley believed in her heart that the father of her son, Louis, would be there for her. So when Ashley turned three months pregnant, guess what? Louis left a scribbled note on the kitchen table saying he was leaving her. That's Alyssa. And today, Louie and Alyssa are both denying baby Isaiah. Why? Ashley and I were best friends for years before we started having a relationship. When Ashley first told me she was pregnant with my child, the first question that came into my mind was, is it mine? I don't want to call Ashley a hoe or anything, but she was kind of a hoe. She definitely is a hoe. When Ashley was three months pregnant, one of her friends told me she had cheated on me, so I left. I met my girlfriend, Alyssa, and we've been in love ever since. Ashley knows for damn sure that Louie is not the father of her child. She's just jealous that Louie helps me take care of my son and doesn't help her take care of her. It's not my fault that Louie denies her baby. It's her fault for not keeping her damn legs closed. Stop trying to use your baby to get him back, because it's never going to happen. Wow. How about what you just heard? Maury, when it comes to this bitch, I don't sweat her. She's just another rat. She can't keep her legs closed. You've been sweating me since day one. Day one, you've been sweating my ass. You don't even know what you're doing. 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 Screw you and your man. I can f*** all my boys. No! Why? Why do you hate her so much? because ever since she came into the pictures when Louis started denying my son, he had no problem with the fact that I was pregnant. He was excited and helping me plan names for our son. So why should I be embarrassed? Louis, don't be so that baby that note, since when day scribbled... one, smash me! I need you to shut your mouth! You know what his main reason is for denying this child? Yes, Maury. He tells me my son doesn't look anything like him because he's blonde hair and blue eyes. And? Oh, no. And Not the fact that Not he's Puerto all. Rican and only 50%. It wouldn't show in my son anyways, Maury. He'd only be 25. Stop trying to flip the script, Ashley. Ask you for for you. No, no, I do have a baby. No, I don't. I don't want to do with him. He can kick rocks just like that. <laughs> Anything, Maury. By the way, Louie, you called the show, didn't you? Yes, I did, Maury. D did she admit to anything with you? Man, Maury, your, your show brings out the truth in people. Oh, really? Yeah. So what did she admit on the phone? She admitted to me that there was a, one possible father, when I think there a, is another. many that you, could be questioned. Many. Many. You think she's still in love with you? Ma'am, or she obsessed. is obsessed, Maury. I ain't obsessed. obsessed. You ain't no obsessed. obsessed. You ain't nothing. Man, I don't if even you're want the father, that. If you're the father of this child, you'll be in this child's life. 
Only if she can be with the fact that I'm with another girl. Oh, my son ain't going nowhere near that bitch. Raise her child. Oh. I don't need no other my hand. I can handle my own. I can handle my own. I've been being called the deadbeat since day one. Tell I ask Ashley what's the status You're about a dead. Even when you thought oh, he was yours. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Listen to this. Listen to this. And you didn't think he was yours. Why is your name on your hand, huh? Well, to try to show to you something, bitch. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I ain't going to listen to you. You think he's not the father? He's not the father, Maury. I don't want him to be the father. You don't want him to be the father. When it comes to nine month old Isaiah, Louie, you are the father. <laughs> I'll pay child support, man. I'm good with it. I'm good with it. It's not possible. That's not possible. And it's not. You got to deal with it. You got to deal with it. This story continues backstage. Keep sleeping around. Can these two very young parents actually stop fighting? I would love to take your money and start raising their child together. He needs a father in his life, and you are his father. Antoine knows his fiance cheated. This is some situation to be in, Kira. And that another man could be the real father of three-year-old Antoine Jr. I made a mistake, more. But what he doesn't know is that the other possible father is his longtime friend, Regis. <laughs> The test results are in. Are you ready for the truth? Everyone, this is Kira. Welcome Kira to the show. Now, you know, in just a few months, Kira was prepared to marry her first love, Antoine. But this is what happens, you know? You start drinking at night, bad things come out. Kira was drinking and revealed to Antoine he might not be the father of their three-year-old son, Antoine. <laughs> Meanwhile, the other man who Kira slept with is here, too. His name is Regis. <laughs> By the way, Antoine, Regis, friends. <laughs> Here's the twist. Antoine has no idea Regis is the other guy in question. How long have you and Antoine been together? Since high school, six years. Six years? Yes, that was my high school sweetheart. I love him. How long have you and Regis been messing around? Six years. Oh. <laughs> and how would you describe your relationship with Antoine now? We're engaged. You think you're going to stay engaged after this comes out? I, I hope so. Who do you think is the father of your child? Antoine. Now, everybody has to understand, Antoine's backstage, but he's so far backstage, he can't hear anything. So why don't we hear from Regis? Regis, let's see what he has to say. Regis, this has been ongoing. Yes. 
and you have still been a friend of Antoine's. Yes. I couldn't sleep with my best friend's woman. Well, look, it, it's, not, it, it's, not all, it, it's not all me. It's one, two. You pursue me. You pursue me. Do you want to be the father, by the way? I don't know. But if the baby... If, If I, I want to tell you something. If if I if it was my fr if it's my friend's baby, I would not want to be the father, right? You don't want to be right. You right. You right. We're gonna bring you backstage, but I want you to see first of all before I take you backstage, mm -hmm. what all of this has been doing to your friend. Watch. A month ago, my fiance told me my three-year-old son, that's one junior, may not be mine. It hurt me inside. It crushed me. Now, every time I look at his face, I think he belongs to someone else. It makes me sick to my stomach to think that my son may not be mine. I feel like I've been taken advantage of, so I called out the wedding between me and Kira. I know Kira gave another man a DNA test, but she refuses to tell me who it is. She tell me I know this person. And it better not be a friend or family member because I can't take this anymore. I called the Maury Show because my heart is in pieces. I love this little boy. He is my life. Everybody, please welcome Antoine to the show. How shocked were you when you found out that your son might not be yours? I was devastated. I cried. I was real mad. Man. You think he looks like you now? Yes. She really believes it's your baby. I want it to be his baby. I love him. We're supposed to get married. I want it to be his. You know that we tested another guy? Yeah, I know. She told me. She told me I might know who, I know who the person is, but she would never tell me his name. Is that right? Guess what, Antoine? The other guy, he's here. So why don't we have him come out? This is a shock. Been knowing them all my life, Morris, since we've been young, man. We grew up together. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Antoine, man. It wasn't all me. It was her, too. Can't tell you both of y'all, man. What you about? I've been knowing you my whole life, Antoine. man. I want you to listen up here for a second. You got to tell him. How long this has been going on? Six years. Six years? Six years? If he's the father, are you all still together? No, it's over. No, don't say that. Don't say that. We can, don't say that. We can work through this, don't if say that. If you're the father, you all gonna stay together? Yeah, our engagement will be back on. It will be. Well, we're gonna find out right now. When it comes to three-year-old Antoine Jr., Regis, you are not the father. Yes. When it comes to three-year-old Antoine Jr., Antoine, you are the father. You stop seeing him. I, it's, uh, it's done. It's over. It's done. Buster claims Crystal's just a club rat, and he won't acknowledge these two little boys, even though he lives right next door to them. 
The only thing separating you all is a fence. A little bitty fence. Two children and two unforgettable results. <laughs> the test results are in. Are you ready for the truth? Everyone, this is Crystal. Welcome, Crystal, to the show. Now, three months ago, Crystal got the shock of her life when her then boyfriend Buster broke up with her, kicked her and her two sons, James and Joey, out of the house. Now, to add insult to injury, Buster then started to deny that he was the father of both of her children. Now, you gotta, you gotta listen to the reasons why Buster is denying Crystal's two boys. When I met Crystal, I knew she liked to party. She parties all the time. She ain't nothing but a club rat. Crystal would drink so much at the clubs, she wouldn't even know where she was going. She'd be blacking out. Who's to say she wasn't sleeping with other men while dating me? Crystal moved next door to me. She thinks that gives her the right to bother me whenever she wants to. I always see Crystal looking at me through the window with her stalking ass, and I'm tired of it. Even Crystal's own family member has told me she's been cheating on me through our relationship. Any man in my position would demand a DNA test for these kids. A woman like Crystal has no morals and cannot be trusted. Okay. Wait a minute. It took two, not one. You played, you played in the playground. You played in the playground. You played on the playground. Not take responsibility. He, ha he has a name for you. You know that? Club rat. Club rat. Yep. I'm a club rat, but I'm the one that's sitting at home taking care of his kids every night. I'm the one that takes them to their doctors. I'm the one that feeds them. I'm the one that buys their diapers. I buy their clothes. Or either my sister does. Buster don't. Now with the but old... you won't even say hey to him when he comes to the fence and he comes home from work. He ignores him and keeps on walking. Oh, yeah, that's won't right. Won't even look at him. Won't even look at the son. By the way, for real? he throws you out of the house with your kids. You move away. Then you move back, move in with your sister, which, by the way, Stays right is right next to his house. And the only thing separating you all is a fence. A, fe a little bitty fence. And my son, every day when he comes home from work, is in the backyard, and he won't even look over there and say, hey. Even if my son says, daddy, he won't look. He keeps walking, goes in the house, and don't come back out. Won't come back out. I can text him and say, James is sitting here hollering, daddy, and he won't even respond back. But, but Crystal, if he beckons you, Later that night. Across. Oh, it's good. If he, as long as me and him's good, as long as he loves oh, me so that week, he loves the kids. The next week, when he hate me, he hate the kids then too. As long as he loves me, as long as that week we good, we doing us, we staying the night, we sleeping together. We, he loves the babies. He play with them everything. But the next week, he hates me. He hates my kids too. And denies them. Denies. Denies. Them. But you're in love with him. I do. I love him with all my heart. But there's a part of me. They don't know if I can forgive him for the stuff he's done for the past three months. But I do. I love that man with every ounce of my Why body. do you think he did this all of a sudden? Because people have been filling his head that you're out clubbing. Nah, I, that's just him thinking I'm at the club every night. Where are you? If, I, I mean, I do go to the club, but I'm not there. I, my kids are in bed. I feed my kids. My kids are asleep when I leave, and I don't go every night. They don't, they don't stay by themselves, do no, they? No, my sister keeps them. Their daddy keeps them. Because my sister's there, dead. Buster's not around. No. Everybody, here's Buster. Buster, come on out. Buster. Yeah. Buster. 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 Those are your kids. Uh, I don't know. For you real? don't know. For real? Know. Buster. For real? For real? Don't know. For real? For real? Don't know. For real? Don't know. For real? Don't know. For real? Be a man. Be a man. Be a man. Be a man. Don't know. You're supposed to be a man, right? Don't know. You a man, right? Don't know. You a man? Man up. Buster. Buster. You get married. Man Buster. up. Man up. You stay so here. Wait a second. You Crystal. Stay All right, Chris. I'm the one to take care of you. Crystal. I talked to you. Murray talk. Let me talk to you. Thank you, Murray. You call her the club rat. She a club rat, Murray. Did she ever 
at any time give you any inkling that you weren't the father? She was never home, man. Is that right? Really? Never really? home, man. Really? You know what I'm really? saying? I wake up 6.30 in the morning every morning. Five, six days a week, she in the club. Don't come home to really? 4, 5 o'clock in the morning. Really? Hey, I'm taking care of my kids. I can do what I want to be. I'm being club. a woman. In the club. I'm she won't get a, a job and help me take care of That's why she got... You don't know. Buster. You paid for it. I did everything with the kids. I did everything with the kids. All right, I'm sorry. If these are the, if sorry. your kids, you're not going to ignore no, them across the back. I'm a good father, no, man. I got to cut my. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm a good father, man. I just want to know. It, it, it ain't the kids. It's her. the same person it is. You know what I mean? When it comes to one year old James, Buster. Next. Two children and two unforgettable results. Malaya walked out and left Tamika alone with their eight children. If you're the father, you're gonna come back home. I will take care of them, I will come back home, and I may be married. Four incredible DNA results are coming up, and what happens is unforgettable. <laughs> The test results are in. Are you ready for the truth? When I met Crystal, I knew she liked to party. She parties all the time. She ain't nothing but a club rat. Who's to say she wasn't sleeping with other men while dating me? Any man in my position would demand a DNA test for these kids. You played! You played in the playground! My son, every day when he comes home from work, he's in the backyard and he won't even look over there and say, hey. Those your kids? I don't know. No, no. For real? For real? Don't know. For real? No, no. Thank you. 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 Thank you're not going to ignore no, them across the back. I'm a good fan. father, no, man. I got to cut my. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm a good father, man. I just want to know. It, it, it ain't the kids. It's, it's her. the same person it is. You know what I mean? When it comes to, to one-year-old James, you are the father. Buster, you are the father. Yeah. Come on, Joey. Come on, When it comes to. When it comes to three-month-old Joey, Buster, you are the father. No, you see a club, right? You got to see a club, right? You got to see a club, right? You got to see a club, right? Believe me, you got to see a club, right? Can I have them? Thank you so much, Mark. Thank you so much. You going to be with that team? Nope. No, Joey don't even know him. I'm just asking. Joey don't even know him. I'm saying she can't lose. You just didn't know. You just, yeah, I just didn't know. You just didn't know. And I'm not going to But now that you know, you will. Now that I know. Yeah, he still ain't gonna do nothing. What's the last time you saw him? I bet you I'm gonna call him. But do you talk to him? Every day? No, I don't. I think you love her. I do. No, we don't. No, no, but I think you're. No, we don't. That man, that man, we don't love her. I am in love with her. Yeah, no, we don't. I am. Now this is serious. I know. This is this is serious. Hold on. Can you come talk to me for a second? I don't want to talk. I want to talk to you. Maury said the words. You are the father twice. Okay. So those are your kids. He don't care. And he's gonna be the same way when we get home. And he's gonna continue to be the same way. What is your dynasty? Yes, sir. Ain't nothing. Alright? Yes, sir. Aliyah walked out and left Tamika alone with their eight children. If you're the father, you're gonna come back home. I will take care of them, I will come back home, and I may be married. Four incredible DNA results are coming up, and what happens is unforgettable. <laughs> The test results are in. Are you ready for the truth? I've been off and on with Tamika for 14 long years. And every time we have a break, 
it seems like she always get pregnant, come up with another child. We supposedly have eight children together. The last four, I don't believe is mine. I know for a fact them children are here. Kids. Yes, sir. And those four aren't yours? No, sir. Don't these kids look like you? Just they can like look like you. any light skinned guy. Just like you! Any light skinned guy. If you're the father of these kids, you're going to come back home. I will take her home, I will come back home, and I may be married. I need help! Elias, when it comes to four year old Yahima, you are the father. <laughs> When it comes to three-year-old King David, Aliyah, you are the father. <laughs> when it comes to one-year-old Yamika, Aliyah, you are the father. <laughs> when it comes to nine-month-old Yael, Alaya, you are the father. Go home and be a family. There you go. You are the father. This story continues backstage. Keep sleeping around. Can these two very young parents actually stop fighting? I would love to take your money. And start raising their child together? You have to get in that kid's life. He needs a father in his life, and you are his father. The test results are in. Are you ready for the truth? When it comes to nine-month-old Isaiah, Louis, you are the father. A DNA test just proved without a shadow of a doubt that 18-year-old Ashley was right. And that Louis is the birth father of her nine-month-old son, Isaiah. Get me off the stage, Drew. After the show, it looked like there was no way all the differences between Ashley, Louis, and his 19-year-old girlfriend, Alyssa, could be worked out. Dude, if it's Louis' I kid, kid, nothing, dude. I got my real kid with her. My kid, not your kid. So what, I will go to the court. Keep him away with I will. I would love to take your money. But executive producer Paul Fallhaber still tried to find a way. Because she wants me to see that baby on her, her time, schedule. not my time. Schedule. Let me ask you a question. How's your relationship with your father? My father's deceased. I'm sorry about that. Sorry. Here's the thing. You don't want that boy not growing up without his father. You have to get in that kid's life. He needs a father in his life, and you are his father. At that point, let's go. Louis was taken to talk alone with Ashley. Can you talk to me for two seconds? And can you not fight? Promise me. But it quickly dissolved into yet another fight. Now here's the thing. So this, never had a connection with me. I nine months you, old and doesn't even know who his daddy is. She calls me daddy. You got everyone else. You got everyone else taken care of. Because my Come on, ex stood up. I'm like you. You ain't no. Yeah, what up? It seems these two very young parents still need more time before they can be civil with each other. She's immature, man. But make sure to watch our next update show to find out what happens after everyone involved has gone home. I want to thank all of my guests for appearing today. I want to thank everybody across the country who watches the Mari show every day. I want to thank my live studio audience. You are the best. Nobody can ask for more. Until next time. Today.
It's the truth. And DNA. This young woman doesn't know who the father of her baby is. She cheated on Robert with 16 different men. These identical twins are back. You are not the Because they didn't know who the father of their baby was. And this woman doesn't know which of these two men is the father of her baby. Some DNA tests involve stories of love. Whoa! She cheated on you with 16 guys. But he stayed with you. And some involve stories of hate. But all of these stories will reach their climax today. Wait on the DNA, baby! With the results of paternity tests. The respect! It's another incredible Mari original, and it starts right now. Everyone, this is Carnesia. Welcome, Carnesia, to the show. Welcome Carnesha's mother, Kim, to the show. Welcome, Kim. Now, these two women are in a vicious paternity battle. They found themselves in a battle with Carnesha's ex-boyfriend, Michael. You see, Carnesha says Michael was a pathological liar from the day she met him. She says he lied about his age. He lied about... He lied about being faithful to her, and she says he also lied when he promised to be a good father to her daughter, Kalea. Look at her. How cute is she? Carnesha and Kim are struggling to raise this baby. Now, Michael continues to deny being her father. Watch. Michael is a 31-year-old grown-ass man who can't take care of responsibility, and I'm sick of him denying my daughter. When I first told Michael I was pregnant, he was happy, but that was another damn lie. Kilea is two months old. I had no help from Michael whatsoever. My mother has been my backbone through it all. I'm tired of watching my daughter cry over the sorry-ass man, Michael. I buy diapers. I'm the one that's taking her to the doctor whenever she needs to be seen. And it is not fair to me. I got news for Michael. I am the grandmother, but he is her father. He's gonna man up, be a father, all the kick his ass. Okay. He lied about his age. Oh, yeah, when I first met him, he told me he was 24 years old. And how old was he? 31. 31. March 8, 1983, and I could not believe it. But he was, was he there for you in the beginning? In the no. beginning, he was there. Was he there when you when got... I got pre when I first was got okay. pregnant, he was at the hospital, and he was happy. He was no, happy. No, I've been there. Oh, I'm you've been... the one that had every single day. It's me. So you've been doing everything a father yeah, should be doing, right, Kim? my mother has been doing everything. Father, granny, Everything. You didn't have it. Diapers, clothes, I'm, Back I'm tired. I'm tired. Kim, I'm just tired listening to you tell the story. <laughs> Maury, I'm telling you, I done told that no piece of <laughs> right there. <laughs> So you were in the delivery room, right? Yeah, delivery you know, room. I was in the yeah. delivery room the whole time I had an emergency C-section. My daughter, all I could think of when I was rushing her to the hospital to have this baby, was they came in the room and said she has to have an emergency C-section. My granddaughter's heart dropped. Right. So for me to be a grandmother and a mother, I said, hurry up and sign them papers so they can get you back there. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Hold What's on. That? Hold on. Yeah, what Look at this, Lori. Look at this. That's a beautiful baby. That's a beautiful baby. And when he raises his neck, it's like mine. He's soft. 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 He's 
Y'all have been watching my no. show a long time. Mm -hmm. I didn't even have to tell you to go up there and make a comparison. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Now, Michael has reasons. He has reasons? Reason. Yeah. No, that's a sorry piece of <laughs> right there. <laughs> daughter was born. He was there, right? He was around the house, right? Uh, no, no. No? Not at all. No. He came to visit? No. He came he to was, visit? He one was time. busy one with time. another female while my daughter was in the hospital. Right. Me and my daughter was in the hospital. He was too busy with another female. Talking about Michael and babies, how many babies does Michael have? 25. He's got 25 babies. Plus, he doesn't know how to wrap it up. Everybody, here's Michael. Michael, come on out. Good to see you. Nice, nice to see you. you. Good nice to see you. you too. Okay. Michael, let's get this straight. Let's go just from the beginning. Did you tell her you were the wrong age? Look, look, Mar, we was drinking, partying. I don't know what I said. We could have said, I could have said anything. I could have said anything. Do you, do you have a lot of kids? No, sir, I don't. Oh, I got two lying? kids. Why you, why you got like 12 different I got moms. two kids. 99.99 two kids. You and by the way, why do they mom. think you have 25 kids? Cause they do. I, I don't know why they think that. You she was pregnant. Did you say you would be there for her? No. Oh, why I you didn't. Know? I told her if I'm the daddy, I told her, I told her if I'm the daddy, I will beat her. I will beat her. But I will beat her if the baby is mine. Why are you lying? Why are you lying? That's what I told her. Why are you lying? Why are you lying? Why would I be there? She got different dudes over her every day. Calling dudes on the, on the cell phone, okay. dudes hitting up on Facebook, mm -hmm. and, and all this other. Like, and then, and, and then, she gonna, me, then she gonna tell me, then she gonna tell me, then she gonna tell me, tell me, they just a friend. You try to tell over your own daughter, so shut up, boy. Does that boy, child, child look like you? That's not my daughter. She's yours. Oh, she looks just like you. Didn't you tell her that you would buy some clothes for the baby? Already range, boo -boo. Yes, sir, I did say that. I did say that. Oh, no, that did say that. Kim, Kim, I'm asking the questions here. I'm sorry, so Maury. You, you were going to buy these things. Did you buy them? No. Yes, I did. Another girl yes, took did, the Maury. clothes. Don't you even lie. You had another female take my baby's clothes. I Maury. bought the clothes. I bought the clothes. I left them in a friend's car. No, you Me had a friend. friend. was a girl. What you said, Michael, you just told me before, if this is your child, you will step up. If this is my child, I will step up and be a daddy. Oh, you gotta be there. You gotta be there. It's my responsibility. When it comes to two-month-old Kalea, Michael, you are the f***. I want you to call 
apologize. I'm sorry, okay? I'm no, sorry. I'm sorry, don't I'm cut sorry. it. No, I want you to apologize. Sorry. sorry, don't cut it. Wait a second. He said he would step up. Let him step up, okay? I'm gonna let him step up. You are no longer the father here, Kim. Oh, yes. Michael's I'm the father. I okay? am so glad. Mona needs to know if the father of this baby is her fiance, James. He takes care of that baby. Yes, he does. Or if the father is her 51-year-old neighbor, Harold. Don't no dirty snake. The situation between these two men is out of control. <laughs> and the explosive DNA results are in. I'm the one to carry that baby. Wait on the DNA, baby. Is James or Harold the father of Mona's baby? Is Rob or one of the 16 men Victoria cheated with the father of her daughter? Everyone, this is Mona. Welcome, Mona. Now, backstage, backstage is Mona's fiance, James. Mona and James welcomed their first daughter, Maya, last year. But the future of their family is in jeopardy because when Maya was just weeks old, James began to notice Maya looked nothing like him. So, so he confronted Mona, and shockingly, Mona confessed she had a one-night stand with their very own neighbor, Harold. So today, Mona needs to find out if her fiance or their neighbor, Harold, is her daughter's father. Marsha because I want to prove that James that he's the father of Maya. When me and my fiance James were going through hard times, I slept with a neighbor named Harold. Shortly after that, I found that I was pregnant. Now I don't know who's the father. <laughs> that was so bad. And I just hate myself every time I think about it. I feel like my baby looks like James and Harold. The forehead, the nose, the lips. My daughter gets that from James. But she's pinched a toe just like Harold. I regret that I had sex with Harold because he's a low down, dirty dog. I want James to be the father because he cares about me and Maya. And if he left me, I wouldn't know what to do. Because I would never meet another man like him. You're heartbroken yes, the is. way the position you put your daughter in. Yes, it is, Mari. You want. James to be the father. Yes, I do. You think he's the father? Yes, I do. James means a lot to you. Yes, he does. He loves that baby. Yes, you know what the problem is? He doesn't think the baby looks like him. I know, but the way, you know, with the forehead, the nose and lips, I can tell that she is his. Really? Yes. Come here. Come here. Okay, here's James. Yes. So you think this is it? Yes. And the nose, the nose, and the lips. <laughs> this is Harold. Yes, she don't have the She don't do the lips. Harold don't have those lips and the nose and the forehead. Only James does. Yeah, but James says the baby's too light to be his. <laughs> they, they both say that. They both say she's too light to be okay. his. Okay. You had a one night stand with your neighbor Harold. Why? One night stand? What no damn one night stand? It from the beginning. Hey, ain't nobody asked you to say nothing. Ain't nobody asked you to say nothing. I don't know where you get that. Harold says, Mona. You've been lying. Harold says, it's more than one night. No, it's a lot of times. Shut up, James. You ain't nothing. Well, guess what? You ain't nothing. Shut me up. Why don't you shut me up? You ain't nothing. Shut me up. You little dirty snake. When you found out you were pregnant, who did you tell first, James, your man, or Harold, the neighbor? I told James first. The baby mama was a snake, it was her. She was the one slithering up to my door. Who was there she throughout was the, the pregnancy? Was it James, your man, or was it Harold, the neighbor? It was in your pants and you... James, because hey. I know Harold, he was a low-down, dirty dog. He wouldn't have did nothing from the get-go. Did you tell Harold he could be the father? Yes, a few weeks after Maya was born. Well, if you think James is the father, why would you say to Harold that he could be the father? Because James kept questioning me about who's the father because he was real light. Here's your fiance, James. James, come on out.
throw down dirty dog, what you sleep with him for? I want to congratulate you for being a great dad. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, man. What did you think when you found out that she cheated on you? Man, it, it, it hurt me to my heart, man. It hurt me to my heart because I, I put all my, all my energy off a time relationship. And then come to find out something like this happened. You know what I'm saying? With this, whoever the... Anyway. By the way. By the way. Harold used to be a friend of yours, didn't he? Well, I wouldn't necessarily call him no friend. But he was a neighbor. But, yeah, he was a neighbor. Did, did, did you, I, 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 did you go to barbecues cool. together? Yeah. Did yeah. you play dominoes together? Barbecue, dom dominoes. You know what I'm saying? We sit out in the yard kicking and all that. Right. You were there for the I, entire pregnancy, huh? Yeah. yeah. Yes, I was. Through the entire pregnancy. Ever since from, from when I found out she was pregnant, Going, I went to all the all of the doctor's appointments. Going to all the ultrasounds. I would even, I would even, I would even go right in the snow. Why do you think that's not your child? That child doesn't look like you. Is that right? I think so. I would, I would say about the eyebrows. You know, she got, she got my little bow on my nose. I, j I just hope that it's my She baby. says it's a one-night stand. Harold says it was more than a one-night stand. How's that? He's a snake in the grass, and nobody asked you to say nothing. <laughs> Dirty, rotten snake. You turn around, and even when you want to turn around. <laughs> you all are engaged. If this yes. is not your child, what's going to happen? I really, I really can't say right now, Mari. I really can't say. Well, that's I, know, I know what I want to do, but if I find out that the baby's not mine, I don't know. What I, would I be know. your relationship with Maya? That's still going to be my baby regardless. <laughs> that's going to be my baby. Because I'm, I'm the one to carry that baby. So yeah, it's, it's my baby. All right, everybody, here's Harold, the neighbor. Wasn't a one night stand, huh? One night stand? Yes, it was only a one night stand. <laughs> one night you stand. Know that. One night stand, girl. You know you was up in my house every time you turn around. No, one time, you know that it wasn't two or three times. Remember that. Wait on the DNA, baby. Wait, wait on the lie detector test. What we got there? Wait on the lie detector. In fact, we gave Harold a lie detector test. How about that? That's right. producers when uh, you saw Mona when she was pregnant? She was a good-looking pregnant woman. <laughs> I didn't know who baby was. I mean, like I said, could have been the butcher, the baker, or the candlestick maker. Oh, I'm not no whore. Why you keep saying I'm not no whore? What happens if it's yours? If it's, if it's mine, I'll, I'll have to stand up to the plate and take care of it. I hope so. I hope so. Okay, Harold, here we go. I'm 51 years old. You know, I really don't have time for no little little babies like how that. Old, but if it's how, mine. How old are your kids? My my oldest is 34. Oh, this is 32. Yeah. And then the next one's uh 23 and then 21. Mess with that any damn way. Then I told I you. Like, but how many times have I told you? You that damn drunk. How many times have I told you? You wanted to be with that dude. Don't waste my time. You were asked if, other than the one time Mona claimed, have you had sex with her any other time? You admitted to our lie detector administrator you had sex with her more than 10 times. Oh, that's not true. That's not true. I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in the fact that this man has stepped up to be a good father. When it comes to one-year-old Maya, don't go anywhere. <laughs> the DNA
results are coming up. When Victoria and her fiance hit hard times financially, she sold her body for money over the internet. With 16 different men. Now she doesn't know if the man she loves is the father of her baby. But he stayed with you. Is Rob or one of the 16 men Victoria cheated with the father of her daughter? Find out next. Is Rob or one of the 16 men Victoria cheated with the father of her daughter? Everyone, this is Victoria. Welcome, Victoria. Now. Victoria is 20 years old. She's scared. She's scared to be here. Last year, she found herself in a dangerous emotional state after suffering years of sexual abuse by a family member. When Victoria met her fiance Rob, she was still struggling to overcome her demons. And she admits that she cheated on Robert with 16 different men. And making matters more complicated, Victoria got pregnant with her daughter Zara around this time. So Victoria and Rob are praying that a paternity test proves that he's the father. Watch. I am worried sick that my fiance Rob might not be the father of my daughter Zara. And this is all my fault. About a year ago, Rob and I were struggling financially. I went online and I found a man who wanted to have sex with me for money. I only did it because I wanted to help us out. I found out I was pregnant right after that. I have a problem and I need help. My f molested me since the age of five and I feel like I've been making mistakes ever since. I've cheated on my fiance Rob with over 16 different men and one was even his family member. I've given my fiance Rob two sexually transmitted diseases and that's when I realized I've been hurting him beyond repair. Proving Zara's Robert's baby is the only shot of happiness I have. But he stayed with you. Yes, he did, Maury. He stayed with you. Yes. This is a dark past you had. Sadly, yes, it is. Family member sexually abused you since you were a child. What would you say to all the other young women who have been in that position? If anything, I'd say that don't stay silent. Somebody's always out there to help you. Open up. Did Rob know about your past? Yes, he did. Did he know that you solicited men on the internet? He did not at the time. You did that from a financial situation? Yes, he was walking around with holes in his socks and not taking care of himself. He's horrible at managing money and I figured it would be the best way to be the woman for him that I know he deserves and try to help him. That way? A lot of people in my audience would say that's just not the way to do it. I, now I agree. What kind of father has Rob been? He has been an absolutely wonderful father to her. He, he does the best that he can. He does the best that he can for her. He is so loving and I've never, I never expected anything like this from him. What do you think is going to happen if I read the wrong answer? Truthfully, I think he might leave me. You do? But apparently, Getting pregnant was the best thing for you in your life. Why? It wasn't necessarily the best thing, but being the fact that she's a blessing in my life, she's given me a reason to be faithful. When was the last time you cheated on Rob? I've been faithful to Robert since last March. Since it, so it's over a year. Yes. Everybody, here's Rob. Welcome, Rob. Rob, you have doubts about being Zara's father? I do, but I pray that she is my daughter. Yeah. 
Victoria says you're, you've changed man since that little girl. Yeah. Came. Why? How? Um, I was there for her birth, and I've always tried to. Uh, <laughs> Tried taking care of her, and I'm trying to be the best father for her I can be. Yeah. You went to a doctor at 18. Why? Um, I wanted to see if I was ever able to have kids. And what'd they say? They said that it was a very slim to none chance that I'd ever be able to have a child. Listen, she cheated on you with 16 guys. I know. How'd that make you feel? It hurts very bad. Zara's my life, and I love her more, love Victoria more than anything. And... But I guess when she cheated on you a lot, your self-esteem must have been nothing. Well, when I first got with her, I didn't really have much of self-esteem, but after all the cheating and everything, my, I really don't have any self-esteem at all. How about now? Um, no, it's just, I'm here really? for my daughter. Really? Aren't you here for Victoria? I'm here for Victoria, but I'm also here do for Do you Zara believe her when she says she hasn't, she's been faithful for a year? Yes, I do, because Good. I know it, because she's... <laughs> Why? Because she stays with me at the house whenever I'm there. She don't like to leave or anything else. She wants, she's been trying to prove that she's going to be faithful. Yeah! Okay. And she's afraid if... If Zara's not yours, you'll leave. I truthfully don't know what I'll do. I'm not sure if I'll leave or I'll stay. What won't hurt you is if I read the right answer, right? Yeah. yeah. I never know till I pull it out from this envelope. When it comes to two-month-old Zara, Rob, you are the father. <laughs> Go home, be a family. Good for you. Thank you. Okay. These identical twin sisters have been on the show before. You are not the okay, 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 okay. Today, they're back again. You and Jeremy are together. Yes. To prove that Jeremy was the real father all along. And he wants to be the father. Whoa. Will the paternity confusion for these twin sisters finally end today or not? Is Rob or one of the 16 men Victoria cheated with the father of her daughter? Everyone, here are the twins, Dermisha and Vermisha. Welcome them back to the show. Now, hey, two months ago, these identical twin sisters were on our show because Dermisha was desperate to prove to a man named Kashan that he was the father of her one-year-old son, Markish. And Vermisha was also furious about the situation, and she was offering sisterly support. So before we find out why they're back, take a look at their last appearance. I'm tired of that bitch trying to pin her baby on me. I'm 100% sure that Marquise is not my son. When Maury reads the results, needs to read them twice. That's the only way that Misha and Vermisha will get it through their thick twin heads and leave me alone. We know for a fact that this is his child. For a fact? Yes! Yeah. You don't think you're the father of that child? Come on, Mark. Look at that Lord, baby, man. Baby I'm way too deep. dark to be that baby's dad. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Get ready to run and cry. Yes, Go run and cry. Yes. When it comes to one-year-old Marquise, Kashan, you are not the okay. father. Hey, hey, hey. It was an honest mistake. OK, everybody. Those results shocked us. But today, Dermisha hopes her search will end with a man named Jeremy. After the show, you must have felt devastated. I did. You thought that Kashan was the father? Yes, I really did. Okay. How come all of a sudden we get into Jeremy? I mean, there, there was, it was a multiple 
I mean, it was. It could have been either Kayshawn or right. Jeremy. So you thought it was Kayshawn. Yes. Then you went back, got in touch with Jeremy. Yes, I and did. And what? And what was his response? He was happy. I mean, he loved me and my baby. Wow. So what you're saying is that you and Jeremy are together. Yes, we are together. Whoa. without even having the test. He's convinced he's the father. Yes, he is. What do you think about him, Vermisha? He's, he's a good provider. Like, he's, he's actually been a great father. He does for the child. He really loves the child as his own. This is what Jeremy had to say. Since I reconnected with Vermisha, things have been really great. Our relationship is strong. We're living together, and I love her son, Marquise, with all my heart. I was surprised when Demisha told me I could be her son's father. But since I've been around that little boy, I believe that he can really be mine. I have always wanted a family of my own. I have a strong bond with Marquise. I know I wouldn't feel that way if I wasn't his father. I think Marquise looks just like me. We have the same ears and the same exact attitude. Dermisha and her sister, Vermisha, they see it too. I want us to be a family. If I'm the father, I'll be the happiest man alive. Wow. Here's Jeremy. Wow. Good to see you. Nice to see you. How you been? Good. Jeremy. You all are together. Yes, sir. Wow. Did you always think you might have a chance to be the father? Yes, sir, Mara, I do. Now, what about the other guy? What about the other guy? Did you know she tested him? Yeah, I seen the show. You did? Yeah, I did. <laughs> but when she called me and told me that I might be the father, I was happy. I you was were so happy. happy. Yeah. So now you're, you're like dad, right, yeah. to Marquise, right? Yes, sir. What, what happens if I read the wrong result? If you read the wrong result, I'm gonna still beat her. I don't care. Man. Wow. So you all have the same ears, is that it? Yes, sir. What else? Same attitude? Something what kind of attitude is that? Like, he be, he, he like to chill, like. He, I like to chill, he like to chill. Well, we're gonna find out right now, okay? Everybody's rooting for the same thing here. Yeah! When it comes to one-year-old Marquise, Jeremy. Will the paternity confusion for these twin sisters finally end today or not? The answer is next. Plus, there's a snake. The situation between these two men is out of control. <laughs> and the explosive DNA results are in. I'm the one to carry that baby. Is James or Harold the father of Mona's baby? Stay tuned. Is Rob or one of the 16 men Victoria cheated with the father of her daughter? I was surprised when Demisha told me I could be her son's father. But since I've been around that little boy, I believe that he can really be mine. I think Marquis looks just like me. We have the same ears and the same exact attitude. Dermisha and her sister Vermisha, they see it too. If I'm the father, I'll be the happiest man alive. What happens if I read the wrong result? I'm gonna still be the own kind of man. Well, we're gonna find out right now, okay? Everybody's rooting for the same thing here. When it comes to one-year-old Marquise, Jeremy, you are not the father. I'm gonna go console her.
Mona needs to know if the father of this baby is her fiance, James. He takes care of that baby. Yes, he does. Or if the father is her 51-year-old neighbor, Harold. Get out of here, dirty snake. The situation between these two men is out of control. <laughs> and the explosive DNA results are in. I'm the one to carry that baby. Wait on the DNA, baby. Is James or Harold the father of Mona's baby? Stay tuned. Is Rob or one of the 16 men Victoria cheated with the father of her daughter? I came to the Maury show because I wanted to prove that James that he's the father of Maya. When me and my fiance James were going through hard times, I slept with a neighbor named Harold. Shortly after that, I found that I was pregnant. Now, I don't know who's the father. What did you think when you found out that you cheated? Man, it, it, it hurt me to my heart. Why do you think that's not your child? I, I just hope that it's my she baby. She says it's a one-night stand. Harold says there was more than a one-night stand. He's a snake in the grass, and nobody asked you to say nothing. I was up in the seat, It wasn't a one-night stand, huh? One-night stand? Girl, you know you was up in my house every time you turn around. Hey, wait on the DNA, baby. Wait, wait on the man and check the checks. OK. You were asked if, other than the one time Mona claimed, have you had sex with her any other time? You admitted to our lie detector administrator you had sex with her more than 10 times. Oh, that's not true. That's not true. I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in the fact that this man has stepped up to be a good father. When it comes to one-year-old Maya, James, you are not the father. Harold, you are the father. How could you do this to me? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do it. I'm so sorry. What the hell you mean? We were going through things at the time. We wasn't going through nothing like yes, that for you were. to do me like that. Yes, we were. Plus, I told you, if you wanted to go <laughs> that dude, don't waste my <laughs> time. I didn't now mean look to. Now what the <laughs> you done did to me. I'm sorry, OK? I'm so sorry. But nothing but good to you. And you know it. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Harold. I want to take time to apologize for, for denying the baby. And, 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 and since I am the father, uh, I, I, it doesn't have anything to do with James. It's just for, uh, have something to do with me and my baby. And, uh, and, and so, I, so I don't need nobody stepping on my toes while I'm trying and to take care of take my care baby. And you're going to take care of that child. That's right. I'll take care of my baby. I don't need nobody stepping on my toes while I'm trying to take care of my baby, though. I apologize to you. I didn't, I didn't try to mess up your stuff. She but was what the you was the one coming over my house, Holmes. I wasn't knocking on your door. But if you have respect as a man you claim to be, you wouldn't do that to me. You was always, you wouldn't do that to nobody. I wouldn't do it to you. Why I'm smiling in my face and seem like you supposed to be all cool. I apologize, brother. I apologize. you. Is Rob or one of the 16 men Victoria cheated with the father of her daughter? I want to thank all of my guests for being here today. I want to thank everybody who watches The Mari Show every day. I want to thank my live studio audience. Thank you very much. You're the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Until next time, America. Thank you. the full impact of the truth. You cheated on me last night. You cheated on me last night with a decoy last night, last night. These men were all left alone with a sexy decoy and a hidden camera. Can anyone on this show prove that they're not a cheater?
We put Naomi's fiance in a room with a sexy decoy, and he did this. <laughs> For the first time, the guilt brings a man to tears. But will it be enough to save their wedding? She suspects that her husband cheated on her with 50 women. He says it's not true, but the hidden camera caught him cheating with one. She thinks her boyfriend loves her, but she's about to see him kissing another woman. You you love me? You love Plus, Robin is here convinced that her son's girlfriend's a cheater and that he's not the father of his daughter. She's doing it because she doesn't like me. Be settled for that! You're a liar! Right. You're right. a liar! Right. You're right. You're right. One man caught in the middle of a war between his mother and his girlfriend. But is he the father? Jeremiah! Can any of these couples survive after hearing the shocking results? Everyone, this is Kiki. Welcome Kiki to the show. Now, so, recently, Kiki's boyfriend, Tavon, asked Kiki to marry him. <laughs> Kiki said no. Because, you see, Kiki believes she has evidence that Tavon has betrayed her trust and is sleeping with other women. Okay. Here's the evidence. Condom wrapper found hidden under the mattress. A pair of woman's pajama bottoms hidden in his backpack. But if that's not enough, Kiki's own sister, Sade, is here and claims she has witnessed Tavon having a romantic rendezvous with his mistress at the food court. <laughs> well, what happened when your sister told you about the rendezvous at the food court? It, first off, it wasn't romantic. They was at the food... They was at the food court. Yeah. They was at the food court feeding each other Chinese food. <laughs> my, sister, my sister walks up to him. My yep. sister walks up to him. He don't know me. He said he don't know me. He don't know her. He don't know who my sister was. Sade. He, he made it seem like he didn't know me, her. He act like I was crazy. Really? Yeah. This is your future brother-in-law. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. I don't think it's, it's a time. Okay, let's go through these things, Kiki. There was a suspicious stain. Oh, on the shirt? Where'd it come from? He said it came from him. I didn't want to give him no sex. Because I didn't want to have sex. Well, can I, can I just tell you something? I mean, I don't want to get too personal about this. That can't happen. No, I'm not that I, I give him. <laughs> I give him what he wants. Whenever he wanted, I give it to him. You all moved in pretty quick, right? Yeah, we but, did. But something happened right, but it was a suspicion right before you moved in. What, what? I go in the living room. Female friend is in the living room and is upstairs. I'm like, Tavon, let's go downstairs like we usually do. Let's go downstairs. Oh, no, come on, let's go around to your house. No, I want to go downstairs. No, we ready to go to your house, Kiki. So he goes into the kitchen to get his coat. I run to the basement. A female land right in his bed. Right in his bed. Well, this is what Tavon to say. What? I asked my girlfriend Kiki to marry me, and she said no because she think I'm cheating on her. If I was doing something wrong, I would never have proposed to her. Kiki found the girl in my bed. I told her she wasn't for the guy that was living there at the time. I would never disrespect Kiki like that. I love her. Kiki saw the white stain on my T-shirt and went absolutely crazy. The stain was not because I cheated. Kiki's sister always tell her that I'm with all these different females. And honestly, I think she's jealous. Kiki, when I pass this lie detector test, I want you to marry me, and I promise you that you will not regret it. Everybody, Tavon, welcome him. Always. And if it's true love, you would not 
you would not ever do anything about never, it. Never, never. And she know that. Her. I love her to death. Can you I know can that. I introduce you somebody, Tavon? This is her sister, Sade. Apparently, you don't know her. <laughs> he know me. Huh? Know he know me. Is. Not in the food court. Oh, yeah, he know me that day. She he know me lying. or her that you day. Lying. You lying. He know me or her that day. You never seen me in a food court. You never seen me in a food court. You just making up stuff. You did not, you did not like me. You did not. So what I get out of this, Tavon, is she's got it in for you. She's going, she's going to dog you. She's going to make bad. He dogged himself. He no, dogged she, himself no, when she, he was in the whatever, food court whatever. with the chick. Right. He dogged himself. You know the chick. You don't know the chick. You never seen me with a female. She don't have you never a seen me. She was what dead. I'm, okay, she went well, out to you and well, you listen, didn't know who I listen, was or who she was. When the come back, you will find okay, out. Well, okay, well, that's it. I Plain can't wait for that. The girl in the basement was from his baby mother was sitting upstairs. I could I, I cannot let I cannot okay, let okay. her know okay. that. And the suspicious stains on the shirt were because she was mad. She running around here mad at me. Don't want to have sex with me. Just oh, said the third. So Tavon, so 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 we did. want it. Tavon, yeah, that's what we I want did. It. We want Any it. man would do it. If okay, they never I got it. So we, we, all we're trying to look for is the truth. So we took things a little further. You see, our special ops expert, Dave Vitale, put Tavon in a green room with a sexy female decoy. <laughs> Can't believe I'm sitting next to a supermodel. Hey, yo. You want my number? Yeah. What is it? Well, what do you want to do? What do you think that there's nothing that your man can't fulfill? Mm -hmm. What would you do? What would I do? I'd just speak louder than words. Guess what? Guess what? We got the results right here. Oh it's a okay. Tavon, your ass if the condom wrapper that Kiki found under your mattress is there from you having sexual intercourse with a woman other than Kiki during your relationship. You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. You were asked if you had sexual intercourse with a girl Kiki found in your basement bedroom during your relationship with Kiki. You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie more than five times. You were asked, Tavon, if during your relationship with Kiki you were caught romantically feeding another woman at the food court. You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. In fact, you had sexual intercourse with that woman more than five times. If you're asked if you really want to marry Kiki, you said yes, and the lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh, oh, is that it? Oh, 
We'll be back right after this. Naomi's about to watch the hidden video of her fiance doing this. <laughs> For the first time, the guilt brought a man to tears. But will it be enough to save the wedding? Robin is here, convinced that her son's girlfriend is a liar and that he's not the father of his daughter. She's doing it because she doesn't like me. One man caught in the middle of a war between his mother and his girlfriend. But is he the father? Jeremiah. Can anyone on this show prove that they're not a cheater? Everyone, this is Naomi. Welcome, Naomi, to the show. <laughs> Naomi's like this. She is so worried. Because guess what? Less than a month, she is set to marry her fiancé, Jesse. In less than a month. But this soon-to-be bride suspects that her fiancé may have already cheated, and to make matters worse, she even believes that Jesse is sleeping with other women while he is at band practice for the local church. <laughs> When I first met Jesse, I used to be his trophy wife, and now I don't think he loves me anymore. I just gave birth to his son. He should love me, but instead he treats me like crap. When you're fixing to get married, you're not supposed to have these kinds of thoughts about your husband. I can't not walk down that aisle and make a promise to Jesse, knowing that he might be cheating on me. Why are you so okay? I don't think he's gonna pass this. Your wedding is in like a month. What does he say? Does he say, you're imagining this? He promises and swears up and down. He hasn't done a thing, he hasn't done a thing, he hasn't done a thing, but I think he has. I mean, all of the proof is there. I found a thong in one of his movies. This is what Jesse had to say, watch. I've made mistakes in the past, and I've been married before, and I never thought I'd find love again. And I did when I met Naomi. Naomi's been through a lot in her life. She's been cheated on and hurt in the past. Sometimes I feel like she takes it out on me, and, and I don't think it's fair. I admit in the beginning of our relationship, I spoke to women on the internet and chat lines. It was never sexual. I was just looking for friends. If a woman does my number by mistake, how is that my fault? Naomi's a beautiful and wonderful person, and I can't wait to marry her. I promised Naomi I'd never cheat on her, and I kept my word. Okay, we'll find out whether he did keep his word. Here's Jesse, everybody. Welcome, Jesse. Hey, you all, don't be so judgmental. <laughs> Jesse, she doesn't think you're going to pass the test. Okay, do you skip band practice at church to go with women? When she's talking about, I went to my friend's house. and we. Which one, Jesse? You know about you that. No, you told and me. We're talking right? about that as well. You told me three different stories. We gave Jesse a lie detector test. We're going to have the results. But last night, with the help of our special ops investigator, David Talley, we put Jesse in a green room with one of our sexy decoys and a hidden camera. Take a look at what happened. You gotta understand what Results of this or not? <laughs> Jesse, you want to say anything? I'm sorry. I mean, Naomi, do you want to hear the results or not? No yeah. or yes or no? I, I, I,
We, we have a you, baby, Jesse. We, we have a son. We asked How you. How can you do this? We asked you, have you had sex with a woman you met on a chat line during your relationship with Naomi? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh, my God. Who the hell was it? Who the hell was it? Who the hell was it? Yeah, you That's a lie detector test. It's not going to freaking lie. You. Oh, my God. No. We asked you, did you have sex with a woman other than Naomi while Naomi was pregnant with your child? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh, my God. We asked you if the time you told Naomi you were at the church band practice, did you have sex with another woman? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh, my God. It's over. It's over. You want to still f*** this out? No. You know what? You're so f***ing. You're over here telling me that I'm overreacting and I'm doing this and I'm doing that. You made me feel like I was a bad person, and I'm not. You made me feel like You told me to try and work you said that he was important and this and that and this and that. I need to calm down because we have a baby. We have a family. You don't need to about any of that. Okay. We'll be back right after this. I want you to be... How can you do this to me? After all of the that I put up with I you... Even... Oh, my gosh. I didn't Still. do anything. Still? I, no. want, I want you to meet with my counselor before no. you go home, Naomi, all right? This is so over. When You're... we go back, I'm going to call my dad and I'm going to call... They're gonna come get my ass, and I never want to see you again. Backstage, for the first time, the guilt brings a man to tears. But will it be enough to save the wedding? Robin is here, convinced that her son's girlfriend is a liar, and that he's not the father of his daughter. She's doing it because she doesn't like me. Be settled for that! You're a liar! Liar! You're a liar! One man caught in the middle of a war between his mother and his girlfriend. But is he the father? Jeremiah. Can anyone on this show prove that they're not a cheater? Everyone, this is Robin. Welcome Robin to the show. Now. Robin. Robin has a pretty smile. She's furious. She's furious because she believes that there's a woman named Mistina, that woman. <laughs> and Robin believes Mistina has conned her son Jeremiah into believe that he's the father of her two-year-old daughter, Kayla. <laughs> Robin says Mistina has a notorious reputation for having sex with one guy after another right? in the town where they live, and she refuses to stand by and watch Mistina put a baby on her son that she is sure is not his. Watch. I love Jeremiah very much, but he has made a lot of stupid mistakes. Mistina is manipulating my son, making him believe that that baby is his. I had to get up and take care of my own kids. What burns me up the most is she running a relationship between me and my son. You don't think she's good for him? No. Why? Because she's a hoe. She sleeps with him. She says, you're all up in anger and rage about this. You're all against her because she's white. No, I don't have no problem with white people. I have a lot of white friends. The She's she don't keep her house. She's nasty. You don't think she ain't that good. She's nasty. Jeremiah, wait a second. Jeremiah seems to be a nice kid. He's a nice kid. He's too dang smart to have that beside him. Okay. He's too intelligent. He had a scholarship for four years to go to Johnson Well to become a chef. And he settled for that. There's a possibility, you would think, if he thinks so, that he might be the father of this child. And if, by chance, I read that he is, you gonna be a grandmother to that child? I, uh, anytime they come and ask me for money for diapers or anything, I even kept the baby twice. So this she been saying I ain't been there? You're a liar! Twice! You're twice. a liar! Twice. You're a liar.
We got to hear Mastina. This is what Mastina had to say. Watch. Every time that Robin denies my daughter, it hurts. All I wanted was my daughter to have a grandma. It pisses me off that she denies her. She knows it's her grandbaby and she's doing it because she doesn't like me. This is so hard for Jeremiah because it's his daughter and she doesn't want anything to do with her. I just want her to love my daughter. I want my daughter to have the family that I didn't have. Why, why are you all against her? She's just trying to show everybody that her man is the father of her child. That's all she's trying. Here she is, Mistina. Mistina, come on up. Does she have it all wrong? She has everything all wrong. She wasn't there for any of it. You know what? Right. I raised my kids. You I took care of my kids. kids. You didn't Won't raise you do you believe what, what apparently you told my producers, one of the reasons why she doesn't like you? Because I'm not good enough for her son. Dude, that is true. You're not good enough for my son. <laughs> Here's what Jeremiah had to say. He's the guy in the middle. I'm so torn right now because I'm in the middle of two women that I love. It's so aggravating that my daughter doesn't even know my mother. My girlfriend, Mistina, is the love of my life. She gave me a beautiful baby girl. But my mother doesn't think that this is my child. I respect my mother, but I don't know what to say to her anymore because I know that this is my daughter. I just want my mother to understand and respect my family. Everybody, here's Jeremiah. Jeremiah, come on out. Jeremiah, is that your child? Yeah. That's your child? Yeah. When you was in the hospital, when she popped her out, you could have told the doctor then. I want a DNA test. I told him. The man Shut told up. him that it costs. Ain't it nobody going to pay money to find out something that we already know. Why you not? Why not? He knows his story. He knows his story. He knows his story. He knows his story. Like you. Let me ask you a question. her mouth about she don't know about. When it comes to two-year-old Kayla, Jeremiah, you are the father. I don't have no problem. I don't been there for the baby. Okay. This lie that she told is enough but a lie from the pit of hell. Oh, okay. Angela's going to tell the father of her child a shocking secret today. I did cheat on you, and Jaden may not be yours. Is he the father, or will he walk out of her life forever? Angel. Can anyone on this show prove that they're not a cheater? Everyone, this is Angela. Welcome, Angela, to the show. Now, backstage, backstage in a secluded area where you can't hear is her boyfriend, Angel. You see, in a few minutes, Angela is going to reveal a secret to Angel that she has lied to him and betrayed him. Why are you so emotional about this? I made a mistake, and I cheated on... Um, cheated Angel. on him? Yeah, I cheated on him. 
and I'm scared he's going to leave me. Worst part is, is I'm not sure if our baby is his. I led him to believe that this was his baby for the past eight months. So here's the deal. Angel has had suspicions about their son and has had suspicions that he might not be the father. And every time he has questioned Angela about it, you've denied it. Yeah. You've denied cheating on him. Uh -huh. So what we've done is, because of his suspicions, we've done a DNA test, and we're going to have the results. <laughs> but, but you're going to tell him that his suspicions are correct. Yeah. This is what Angel had to say. Watch. My girlfriend Angela is, is the love of my life, but I'm just afraid that she's been holding a secret back from me for the last three years. I love Jaden with all my heart. I've been there for him since he was born. I can't imagine one day of my life without him being there. I have reason to believe that Angela cheated on me during the time that she got pregnant. Jaden might not be mine. When I look at Jaden, I really don't see any of my features in him. I just want Angela to come clean and tell me what she did. I can't take the lies anymore. I can't. Everybody, please welcome Angel to the show. Welcome. Good to see you, Angel. Nice to see you. Angel, you love Angela? She's the love of my life. You love Jaden? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Did, did Angela say she had something to tell you? <sighs> yes. Why don't you turn to him, tell him why you brought him here. I love you a lot, you know, I love you. And I know you've been questioning me. And you have reason to, because I did cheat on you. <sighs> I'm sorry. You want to tell him how, how many times? Three times. <sighs> Jaden. Three separate and, occasions? And Jaden may not be yours. Oh! I'm sorry. Why do I think, Angel, she is truly sorry and that she's, she's mortified that it happened and wishes that she could somehow smooth it over or, and make it like it never happened? Am I right, Jeff? You're absolutely right, Maury. The other thing we have to understand, and Angel, please, please understand this. She comes from foster care. Her father wasn't around. Her mother wasn't around. I'm not trying to band-aid this, but if you come from a dysfunctional family, chances are you are going to act out even if you have the greatest thing in your life right now. What I need for you to do, though, Angela, is understand why you did what you did so that you're not doomed to repeat the same mistake later on. So... Well, let's hope for the best. Let's hope for the best. In the case of eight-month-old Jaden, Angel, you are the father. She has suspicions that her husband cheated on her with 50 women. He says no way, but our hidden camera caught him definitely cheating with one. Can anyone on this show prove that they're not a cheater? Everyone, this is Amanda. Welcome Amanda to the show. She's been in love with her husband, Mariko, for three years. He has broken her heart and admitted that he cheated. However, after Amanda had a miscarriage, she says that Mariko swore he'd be 100% faithful. 
But then Mariko came home with makeup on his shirt, lipstick on his cheek, and stains on his boxer. So now Amanda, because of this, has gained 50 pounds because of the stress. Terrified that Mariko may not be attracted to her anymore and may be cheating on her again with as many as 50 women. Yeah. I love Mariko with everything I have. He's everything to me. We have a beautiful one-year-old daughter together. Mariko's cheated on me and it's hurt me really bad in the past. I've had two miscarriages from the stress that I've had with Rico. After my second miscarriage, he swore he would never cheat on me again, but all the signs are still there. I found makeup on his shirt, lipstick on his cheek. I have found text messages from other girls and Rico still tells me he's not cheating on me. Different women call my house and say that they're pregnant by Rico or they have babies by Rico. All I want is for my family to be together and for him just to be faithful to me. So here's the thing. You work? I work. I work two jobs. Take care of our family. I mean, But you think he's cheating again? I do. Well, before we bring out Mariko, this is what he had to say. I love Amanda with all my heart and soul. I would never do anything to hurt her, especially cheating on her. It's exhausting that every day she accuses me of cheating on her with a different woman. We've been through two miscarriages, and that devastated both of us. Sometimes I think that she don't consider my feelings. She needs to find out that I'm not happy with the way this relationship's going. Cause she's driving me crazy, and she's driving herself crazy. We got a beautiful baby together, and my biggest fear is that she's gonna leave me and take her with her. Now, Amanda, before we bring Mariko out here, there's something uh, you may want to see, because last night, <laughs> our undercover investigator, David Talley, uh, with our special ops unit, put two of his decoys in a room with Mariko. And this is... And this is what happened. Watch. Between me and you, how many times did you cheat? Well, I can't even count. When's the last time you cheated that she knows about? She got a suspicion that I was just up for your life. For you? Last week. Did you? Yeah. You got a little bit of a spike here? Here? Who counts on that? Why? What do you want to do? Mariko, everybody. Mariko. So, uh, you love her? Yeah, I love her. You love her. But at the same time, at the same time, uh, Mariko, uh, you know, she says that you admitted things in the past, but you kind of like turned over a new leaf. Is that right? Yeah. Last night, you were in a room with two decoys, and let's see what went on, all right? Take a look at that. When was the last time you cheated that she knows about? She got a suspicion that I was up for your life last week. Did you? Yeah. You got a little, little demonstration? Here? Who cares about it? What do you want to do? I get the feeling that you just want her to let you just do what you feel like doing. Is that right? No. No? It ain't nothing like that. Like that? No. What's it like? I mean, what kind, of what kind of relationship is this? Well, you took the test. We're going to have the results right now. How's that? We asked you when you're here at night, are you really having sexual intercourse with another woman? You said no. The lie detector test determined he was busted cheating on hidden camera. Can he now pass the lie detector test and possibly save his marriage? The lie detector test determined her fiance was busted on hidden camera kissing a sexy decoy. For the first time, the guilt brought a man to tears. 
But will it be enough to save the wedding? You already know about it. It's over. It's over. Can anyone on this show prove that they're not a cheater? I love Mariko with everything I have. He's everything to me. We have a beautiful one-year-old daughter together. Different women call my house and say that they're pregnant by Rico or they have babies by Rico. All I want is for my family to be together and for him just to be faithful to me. Last night, our <laughs> undercover investigator, Dave Vitale, put two of his decoys in a room with Mariko, and this is what happened. Watch. Between me and you, how many times did you? Well, I can't even count. You know, we a little demonstration. Here? Who counts around? Why, what do you want to do? you when you disappear at night are you really having sexual intercourse with another woman you said no the lie detector test determined that was a lie we asked you during your relationship with Amanda have you ever had sexual intercourse with any of the women you met at the convenience store you said no the lie detector test determined that was a lie we asked you have you ever had sexual intercourse with the who told Amanda she was pregnant by you you admitted that you did one time but in fact it was more than ten times we asked you, other than the two times Amanda already knows about, have you had sexual intercourse with any other woman? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie more than 50 times with more than 21. <laughs> Rico, I don't want you to I don't you want you to stop being a good father that you are. But the question is whether the two of you can come to an agreement about your relationship. No, I'm sorry. After seeing that, and after hearing that, we done. We, we get done. home, That's get your stuff, and get out. Man. We'll be back right after this thing. Her fiance was busted on hidden camera kissing a sexy decoy. For the first time, the guilt brought a man to tears. But will it be enough to save the wedding? You already know about it. It's over. It's over. Can anyone on this show prove that they're not a cheater? Earlier, Naomi's fiance Jesse was caught kissing a sexy decoy on hidden camera. <laughs> Backstage, Jesse walked off the set and locked himself in a bathroom. Executive doing, producer okay? Paul Fallhaber convinced Jesse to come out and talk to the woman he's supposed to marry. Why'd you kiss the decoy? You know, so stupid. The best thing you could do right now would be to tell him the truth. You want to go do that? She'll listen to me, but I don't even think she will. But you got to be honest. Meanwhile, Naomi still couldn't believe that her fiance had just kissed another woman. He cheated on me last night. He cheated on me last night with the decoy. Last night, last night. He over there started making out with the damn girl. When this couple finally came back together, security was prepared for the worst. Number one, did you cheat? No, I have not. I mean, that's not what happened here, because I shouldn't have done that. You already know about it. Not about no, last night. I don't hear you I didn't cheat it's on over. After the show, we spoke to Naomi. And as of right now, the wedding is off, and they're not together as a couple. We wish her the best of luck. Until next time, America. Next hour, families are locked in a face-off. And only the test results on Mark can expose the real truth. Don and Amy hired Jessica to babysit their children. Jessica went a little further than just babysitting. But apparently this babysitter was having sex with their then 14-year-old son, Stephen.
And now she claims he's the father of her daughter, Cheyenne. What would you think, Mari? I don't door? know what Mari, I would on. think. One babysitter. Shut up! One teen boy. And one shocking DNA test. Did this teen boy make a baby with his babysitter or not? Steven. <laughs> Plus, you are not. Marisol has taken not one, not five, not ten, but 16 DNA tests to find the father of her children. Marisol is back today. And once again, she needs to show DNA proof before she gets the help she needs. Maybe, maybe. Marisol's 17th paternity test. Well, let's find out. Will she find the father today? It's a jam-packed hour of unforgettable paternity drama. You made a mistake. And it starts right now. Everyone, this is Don and his wife, Amy. Welcome them to the show. You know, we all, we all, as parents, want to protect our children, but for Don and Amy, they are facing a parent's worst nightmare. Aww. You see, they hired a, a young woman named Jessica to babysit their then 14-year-old son, Stephen. <laughs> Jessica went a little further than just babysitting Stephen. <laughs> Don and Amy say that Jessica seduced young Stephen. <laughs> And now she claims he's the father of her daughter, Cheyenne. We trusted our babysitter, Jessica, to watch our kids. We had no idea she was having sex with our son when he was only 14. Jessica showed up at our house, claiming our son Stephen is the father of her baby. This girl is looking for nothing but a meal ticket. My son is not the father of her baby. This girl looks nothing like my son or anyone else in our family. Jessica thinks she could pull the wool over my son's eyes, but not me and Amy. DNA will prove that our son is not the father. We're going to need Jessica and her baby to move out of our house and let Stephen live his teenage years. Okay. Some story. You trusted Jessica to take care of your kids as a babysitter. Yeah, what was I thinking? Who do I know she was going to molest my 14-year-old son? What the hell is wrong with this girl? Fast forward. Your son now, Stephen, is 17. Yep. Yeah. All of a sudden, Jessica what? Shows up? She Please. has to come visit. She didn't say but nothing about the kid. It's just Oh, there. you didn't know. <laughs> you didn't know. Damn you didn't know she came with Shut a baby. Shut up! time, ho. <laughs> Has Jessica and the three-year-old been in your house? About a week, two weeks. About a week or two. But you ain't be less than that. Less than that, they're about to leave by, after by the, the show. By the way, how's it going? Not too good. All the drama and everything they bring to us, my wife thinks that I might be sleeping with this hoe because my <laughs> son did. Come on. Oh my God, Come on. he's not sleeping with you? That is so disgusting. Okay. I just want him out of the house. I what happens if it's your grandchild? Day. If it's my it's grandchild, not. it's different, but it's not my grandchild. It looks my nothing like my son. It's nothing Shut like up! My it's my time, Shut up, you said me and Grandpa! You know it's just my baby! Don, my son and the test will prove that it's you not ever my think that you'd be a grandfather your age? Not at 35, my age! Crazy! <laughs> I can't wait to hear what Jessica has to say. This is what she told my producers. I know Don and Amy hired me to be their babysitter, but I never meant to hurt them. But here are the facts. I had sex with Steven for several months behind their backs. And he is the father of my daughter, Cheyenne. I know this is shocking, but everyone needs to get over it. Dawn and Amy need to accept the fact that they have a three-year-old granddaughter. Ever since I came back into their lives, Dawn has been nothing but a deadbeat grandpa. And this has to stop. Steven knows what we did. He may be 17, but he's not a little boy anymore. I'm so proud of Steven for manning up, unlike his annoying parents. Listen, Don and Amy, I don't need any more trouble out of you two. What I need is for you to let Steven be a father to his daughter, because me and Cheyenne are here to stay. No, okay. you're not. Oh. It's not his kid. Everybody, 
Here's Jessica. Jessica, oh. come on. Jessica, they look I'm alike. Like they do. Why well, look at their noses? The noses? The nose, she looks like oh, you. Look at her. Look at her. She looks just like you. You were hired to babysit the kids three years ago, and uh, how come you messed around with the 14-year-old? Because yeah. <laughs> you were telling us to that time. I am not. He was 14. It, 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 you were it, 19. That's the it, reason. It, 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 Wait a second. He is 14. At 14 he years old, why didn't you say sex. him, wait a second, Stephen, you're 14. We can't do this. <laughs> Jessica, Jessica, okay, that's one side of the story. Now, the other day, I guess you must have talked to Stephen. You said if you could come by, right? Right. You wanted to come by. I did. And so Mistake. Stephen asked his parents if you could come by, and they said, oh, okay, we remember death. Jessica, she used to be your babysitter. He shows up at the bus station, and you have a three-year-old with you. I do! I do! And it's your son's baby! Oh, it's supposed not. to be oh, Stephen today! Too. Go he back to Mama not. Tramp! Just go home! Oh. It's not his! Just wait! Just wait! You're gonna be walking on this stage! Your son is falling on me! Why did you wait three years for these people to know? Yeah, it's because, right. because I didn't want Stephen to have to be a father at 14. Well, how about 17? Well, what about He's 17? only 17 He's now. 14, not in it. The You're only right. piece missing here is Stephen. This is what he had to say. I just found out that I could be the father of my babysitter's three-year-old daughter, Cheyenne. When Jessica used to babysit me and my sister, we would sneak and have sex when my parents weren't home. I was only 14 years old when me and Jessica had sex, but I knew what I was doing. Before Jessica came to live with us, my mom and dad didn't know she had a baby, but I did. I know they're only trying to protect me, but I need them to help me take care of Cheyenne because I know she's my baby. I need my parents and everyone else in my family to start accepting that I'm a father. Cheyenne and Jessica are going to be in my life for a long time. Everybody, here's Steven. Steven. You are still a kid yourself. Steven. You're not even grown up yet. Hey, yeah, Steven. Step up and be a father. It ain't Why? yours. Why are you a kid? It ain't it yours. It is too. It is too. Let me tell you what you see. It is what you see. We'll raise one that you can't if it is yours, won't we? Wait a second. Because you ain't even finished school yet. You Amy, quit. wait a minute. Steven, she was 19, you were 14. Correct. And you're back with her, right? According yes. to her, you all are sleeping together. Yes, correct. Do you get the feeling, Stephen, that you're brainwashed? Did she brainwash you? No. She no. had to, I'm sorry. She had to. I didn't brainwash him. It's too hard to take care of a baby. Steven. You need to grow up. Yeah. Yeah. That child looks like you. Look, she doesn't even look like you. Oh, my God. That child looks like you. She's got she my nose, Mari. Like she has your nose? Oh, yes. She, no, she does not got your nose. She's she got your mama's nose. She does look at her. Look. She has got her I want to know what the story is. I understand. What, by the way, Stephen, if you're not the father, you will tell, hi, Jessica, nice to see you, goodbye, right? No. Yes, you will. No, I won't. Yes, you will. It's over. No, I won't. Charges fine. It's over. If this is your grandchild, then he's got support and all the help he needs, Mari. So does she. So does she. Then it ain't our grandkids. That's what we're trying to tell you. Well, we're gonna find out right now. When it comes to three-year-old Cheyenne, Stephen, 
Did this teen boy make a baby with his babysitter or not? The incredible answer is coming up. You are not. A DNA test proved Deontay is not the father of Brittany's daughter, Harmony. He made a mistake. She's back to find the real father of Harmony. He's the only possibility. Yeah. The results are in. What will Britney's second DNA test prove? Anthony? Plus, Marisol's 17th paternity test. Well, let's find out. Will she find the father today? Marisol's 17th paternity test. Will she find the father today? Everyone, this is Brittany. Welcome Brittany back to the show. <laughs> Brittany was here two weeks ago. She was here two weeks ago. She was left devastated when she found out that this man, Deontay, was not the father of her three-year-old daughter, Harmony. So <laughs> Look how cute she is. <laughs> now, before we find out why she's back, Take a look at the last appearance of Brittany. What happened when you informed him that, that you were pregnant? He didn't do nothing. You know what he told our people? He didn't even know you were pregnant. He lied! Who do you think's the main reason for this? Both of them the reason, and his mama Monique keep filling his head with all these lies. He is not your baby yes, daddy! He is! He, he is, is not your baby daddy! He is not your baby daddy! I know for a fact that I'm not the father of Brittany's daughter, Harmony. This little girl is three years old. How do you go three years without knowing who your baby daddy is? Nick, how are you? Look at this head! Look at this head! Look at this head! She don't got my eyes! Look at this head! Deontay, you are not... Hey, made a mistake. You want to be a woman, you be a woman, and you stand up and you do what the hell you need to do. Now, that was enough of a surprise, but after the show, there was another surprise. Guess what? Brittany and Deontay got back together. They are now a couple. Deontay is here to support Brittany. But Deontay also says, he also says that the DNA results with a man named Anthony will determine his future with Brittany. So what do you I'm mean by that? Daddy. Well, when I found out that Harmony wasn't my daughter, right. I felt bad. Right. Every child deserves a father. Every right. child. You know what I'm saying? Everybody. You know? And, and, hold on. That's not even it. That, that's, that's, not, that's not even a half of it, you know? I've been knowing her for so long. You know what I'm saying? I ain't want to just turn my back so on So you and she got back together again, but now you are saying... If Anthony, this guy, is not proven to be the father... And the only reason why I'm going to leave is because she told me she only messed around once. Oh. And if he ain't the daddy, then if she lied to me about one thing, she's going to lie to me about two things, she's going to lie to me about three things, it's going to be enough in the circle. You feel me? It's going to go. And I'm you know glad you're here to support me. Thank you for your support. Brittany, you think it's this guy? Yes. One time? You all went together one time? But it only takes one time! He said he wore protection. He didn't wear nothing. We was drunk. How he know what he wore? He didn't have a right to be mad? No, for what? Well, I'm calling he... him, so no, ain't no need yeah, to be mad. He reason... can step up now, more and do what he got to do. But, Brittany, there's a three-year-old child there. He hasn't been around a, a That's child. That's three years. Uh, we got 15 more to go. 18, honey. Add it up. It's all right. He's the only possibility. Yep. He's okay. All right. Well, guess what? I mean, this is what Anthony I'm had to say. I'm gonna fix this for my daughter. We're gonna prove today who the okay, daddy is. Okay, okay. I can't believe that Brittany is trying to pin her baby on me. Less than two weeks ago, she texted this guy named Deontay, and he wasn't the father. I got a real good feeling that Brittany will be right back on the Maury show. She's gonna have to test like six other men. When I met Brittany three years ago, she was loose, and it's likely she's still sleeping around. I don't think I'm the father of Harmony for the simple fact that me and Brittany only had sex one time and I use protection. I'm interracial, and Harmony looks pure black. I'm hoping it's proven I'm not Harmony's father. I don't want to deal with Brittany and all Bring of her drama. Him out! Bring there him is out! Anthony. Anthony, 
What's up, Mar? You think you look like that child? That baby don't look nothing like me. Look at her! She looks just like you! What are you talking about, dude? That baby don't look like me. Look at these ears. They point out just like... She bought the stuff, girl. She bought the stuff, girl. Anthony, you say that, you know... She that waited she... three years to tell me this. Come I... on, now. Okay, man. you can step up now and do what you gotta do I as mean, a father. I mean... What are you talking about? Anthony. What are you talking about? If it is mine, then Anthony. I will. Okay, okay, that's all I need so, to hear. So, your doubt is because it, it was mine, one, it one time. One time, you also... One time, one time. Ain't no we don't be taking one time? Are you serious? Not that one time, Not, Yeah, that one time. Not that, that one time. One time. So if you were drinking, Anthony, is it possible you forgot to put on the condom? Yep, yep, I put that's it on. I put it on every time. You did not. I keep one on me. I keep one on me. We gotta be bad. Next week, we got that. You, you gotta get rich we'll out of it. We see, we see more. You got the results. Mark's gonna get rich we're out of that love. She's gonna be on the penny more time. You'll be in this child's life, wouldn't you, if yeah. you're the father? Yeah, okay. yeah. Because you if don't I have, am, though. You don't have any children, right? No, I'm 20 years old. No kids. This one ain't mine. When it comes to three-year-old Harmony, Anthony, you are not. This will be straight, man. I don't know about me and you, but I got you, man. I'm gonna take care of that baby, man. I got you. I got you, man. She mine, man. Man, you lied to me. I told you not to lie to me. If you would've just been a hundred, we wouldn't be here. It's Call gonna me. be all right. I love you. You got a friend Ooh. here. You got I a friend you here. I my life, man. You, you got a friend. Me, man. You're lucky to have a friend, all right? Okay? I hope you work like that, though. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry. That's baby. it, though. It's all right, it's all right. I hope it's... I hope you worked it out though. What's up, bro, bro? What's up, man? I apologize. You, you are alright. You are not. Parasol has taken not one, not five, not ten, <laughs> but 16 DNA tests to find the father of her children. Marisol is back today. And once again, she needs to show DNA proof before she gets the help she needs. Marisol's 17th paternity test. Well, let's find out. Will she find the father today? Marisol's 17th paternity test. Will she find the father today? Ladies and gentlemen, over the last 15 years of this show, there is one guest I'm always asked about. Marisol. Marisol is back today. Everybody, please welcome Marisol. Here she is. Now, for those of you who don't know Marisol's journey on The Maury Show, Marisol has had 16 paternity tests for her five children. Why is she here today? Wait a minute. Let's take a look back. Five beautiful children, 16 DNA tests. It all began with a search for her daughter Shadiman's father. Not the father. Yeah! Not, oh! not the father. Not the father. Oh! Marisol put her search on hold for Shadiman's father and turned her attention to her son, Joshua. You are not the father. For her son, Davion, the paternity test left Marisol with more painful questions than answers. Not, not the father, not the father, not the father. Although Marisol gave up her search for Davion's dad a year later, Marisol came back hoping she'd have better luck finding the father of her new baby, Anthony. The mystery man who could not be here is not Marisol. Joey, you are not the father. Yes. One year later, Marisol returned with Reggie, hoping this time she would finally gain closure. Reggie, you are the father. 
A few months later, Marisol and Reggie had this shocking update. Reggie has really stepped up, but Anthony's not the only person he's been there for. Marisol and I are together, and she is now six months pregnant. We won't be coming back for a DNA test this time. I know this one is mine. Okay, that was the update. And now Marisol has good news and bad news. The good news is she has welcomed a sixth child, Jelani. She's beautiful. The bad news is Reggie, who she was with, is denying that he's the father. And you're more, you're, you're more furious than ever. I am furious because once again, I'm here to what? prove to Reggie that he is my baby's father. Well, why would he doubt that he's the father? Because I confessed something to him. Yeah, what did you do? I cheated on him. You... He knows that he is Jaylani's father. So, when Jaylani was born, was Reggie there? He was there. We were there, we were together, we were one big happy family. We were living together and everything. I told him one little secret or whatever, and now he's denying my baby. But today he's gonna find out he is Jaylani's father. You wanna be back with him? Oh, hell no. No? This is what Reggie had to say. Last time I was on the show, I found out I was Reggie. the father of Anthony, Marisol's baby. After that, I thought me and Marisol could make it work. It makes me sick that I'm back on this stage. But I shouldn't be too surprised. It is Marisol I'm dealing with. When Marisol told me she was pregnant with our second child, I was happy. It wasn't easy standing by Marisol's side. She has the worst reputation. But I defended her because I thought she was carrying my child. On Jelani's first birthday, that's when Marisol told me she cheated on me. I couldn't believe it. All I could think of is that baby's not mine. I can't trust a word Marisol says. And until I get DNA proof, I'm not gonna claim that baby. And I definitely don't think this is the last time you're gonna see her on more. Everybody, here's Reggie. First of all, I want to congratulate you for being a good father to Anthony. Thank you. It was your child. <laughs> you love that little boy. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Of course I do. And you're going to love Jaylani too, because she's yours. Oh. Did you ever think you'd be here again? No, I didn't think. I thought the lies and the betrayal was over, but it's Marisol, so. Oh, well, we're know. here, and I'm going to prove to you she's yours. So stop talking. Uh, we'll Reggie. Find out. Take a look at that child, take a look at you. You don't see any similarities. She doesn't look like you. She don't look like you. Look at that big ass forehead. She's that young. <laughs> that don't mean nothing. Looks, looks can be deceiving. Looks can be deceiving. What do you want me to do? Look at this. This, this, this. She's that yours. She's that yours. Did you? When she was born, you were at the hospital, weren't you? Yes, I was. Sure was. That's what the I do. I'm time. a father. Oh, I'm, yeah. I think it's my baby. I'm gonna go see, so you don't see think my she baby. Is yours. Oh my gosh, so she says. So she says. Oh, so no. she says. If we prove that, that you're the father, you'll sign a birth certificate. He yes, is gonna sign it. And yes, he's gonna make you Well, let's find out. I assume, I assume you wanna be the father. Because you've father. been there with her. Yeah, I do. I, I really do, but... She's yours. I don't we'll know. I don't know what to do. When it comes to one-year-old Jelani, Reggie, you are the father. <laughs> believes her son Patrick's fiance is definitely a cheater. Guess what? Mama has had enough. Because she claims his fiance made a sexual pass at her. How ridiculous is that? How long can you get? One angry mother trying to stop her own son's wedding. She came on to you. I wanted a threesome with me and I turned her down. She's a liar. The outrageous lie detector results. Good. One disrespectful person and the even more outrageous paternity results are in Patrick.
Marisol's 17th paternity test. Will she find the father today? Everyone, this is Michelle. Welcome, Michelle. Hey. This is great. Get ready. Five months. Michelle's ready to walk down the aisle with her fiancé, Patrick. There is someone who never wants that to happen. It's Patrick's mother, Mary. What's gonna happen? You know what Mary claims? Mary claims that Michelle came on to her sexually. Yeah. How ridiculous is that? How long can you get? And then Mary says, when she rejected the offer, Michelle went after her son, Patrick. She has lost her mind. And all of that has resulted in a three-year-old child named Lexi. There's Lexi. My baby. A child who, by the way, Mary adamantly denies is her granddaughter. From day one. From day one, Michelle was waiting for it, my son did. And she's a lying, manipulating, destroying piece of trash. Besides being a backstabber, I know for a fact that Michelle is bisexual and she loves women. Because she made sexual advances at me before she got with my son. I don't swing that way, and I turned her ass down flat. When she couldn't have me, she went to the next best thing. It was my son. I am sick and tired of her brainwashing Patrick. I know for a fact that Lexi is not my granddaughter. Michelle is playing my son like a puppet, so he will support her so she can sit on her fat ass. But guess what? Mama has had enough. Okay. She has lost her Now, mind. this is some family she feud. Don't even know. So you wanted to be with Mary. No, Mari, that is ridiculous. This woman has lost her mind. She is a habitual liar. All she's worried about is Patrick being mama's boy for the rest of his life and not gonna happen. She thinks... She thinks you're with him just to spite her. Not true, Maury. That is not true at all. Okay. I have been bisexual, granted. Yes, I have. Ooh. But that is not my cup of tea, Maury. No. He's no. right. One, oh, I like everyone to be on her bones. Maury, no. Be on her. This is my family, and she is not going to tear it apart. Yeah. Not going to happen. So. So what we did was not only we have a DNA test. A lie detector, Maury. Yeah, that's what we got. We'll see your blood today. We'll see. So you're supposed to walk down the aisle in five months. That's right. Who is not going to be on the list to the wedding? Everybody in Mads will be on there except Patrick's mother. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the devil, Maury. She is not going to destroy my family. Uh -huh. She's not coming to her son's wedding? She sure ain't, Maury. By the way. You're right. I hope she you're right. I hope Lexi does too. Yeah, too. yeah, she called but my I daughter a the only I see is her. Hi, Mary. Stand up for a second. Okay, let's move right here. Thank you very much, Mary. Okay, she says you're a liar. You say she's a liar. She came on to you. Her and her friend wanted a threesome with me, and I turned her down. She's a liar. I got my friend's number right now. You can call her and ask her. You think that child looks like your granddaughter? No, I do not. The way you see it, when you rejected her, she went on to your son. Yes, despite me. Lies. Really? She is such a liar. You talk Look at her, Maury. Yes. I have been gay, like I said. I like women with meat on their bones, not a bean pole, Maury. Yeah. This is the devil. Yeah, yeah. No, whatever. Yeah. Whatever. No, I just you know, you know that you couldn't stand it. By the way, Mary, if we prove that that's Patrick's child, are you going to the wedding? Hell no. I don't want nothing to do with it. Here's Patrick right in the middle. Here's Patrick. Wow. 
Are you in the middle or what? <laughs> Definitely in the middle. Is that your child? Absolutely, 100%. Do you think, you think Michelle hit on your mother? I don't think so. It's just rumors. Are you ready to get married without your mother being there? Yeah. I really would love my mom to be there, but she's got to accept our relationship. She just has to. If Lexi's yours and you've proved me out to be a liar, hey, I will chill out. But you got to prove me I wrong, I do believe son. you just said you were not coming to the wedding. Okay. If she was. First, we're going to go to the fraternity. So we're going to do the paternity results first, which I care about more than anything, and then we'll do the lie detector, okay? When it comes to three-year-old Lexi, Patrick... Is Patrick the father of his fiancé's baby? The outrageous results are next. One babysitter. One teen boy. And one shocking DNA test. Did this teen boy make a baby with his babysitter or not? Steven. The incredible answer is coming up. Marisol's 17th paternity test. Will she find the father today? I knew Michelle way before my son did, and she's a lying, manipulating, destroying piece of trash. Besides being a backstabber, I know for a fact that Michelle is bisexual and she loves women because she made sexual advances at me before she got with my son. I know for a fact that Lexi is not my granddaughter. Michelle is playing my son like a puppet so he will support her so she can sit on her fat ass. This is my family and she is not going to tear it apart. You think that child looks like your granddaughter? No, I do not. Is that your child? Absolutely, 100. Yeah. You think Michelle hit on your mother? I don't think so. It's just rumors. So we're going to do the paternity results first, which I care about more than anything, and then we'll do the lie detector, okay? When it comes to three-year-old Lexi, Patrick, you are the father. Hold you! Hold you! Hold you! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I told you. Now we have the lie detector. Now what do you got to say? You were asked, during your relationship with Patrick, have you ever had sexual contact of any kind with any other man? Nope. You said no. The lie detector test determined you are telling the truth. That's what's up. Yeah, what? That's a lie. You were asked if during your relationship with Patrick, have you ever had sexual contact with a woman? Nope. You said no. The lie detector test determined Here it is. you are telling the truth. Well, I never said we had sex, Michelle. You were asked, are you in love with Patrick? You said yes. The lie detector test determined you are telling the truth. Yes! Yes! Come on, yes! I think Mary should bury her anger, and you should offer forgiveness, and you all should go to the same wedding. That's what I think. We'll be back right after this. No, no more. Don and Amy hired Jessica to babysit their children. Jessica went a little further than just babysitting. But apparently this babysitter was having sex with their then 14-year-old son, Stephen. And now she claims he's the father of her daughter, Cheyenne. What would you think, Mario? I don't know, know what Mario, I would think. think. One babysitter. One teen boy. And one shocking DNA test. Did this teen boy make a baby with his babysitter or not? Steven. <laughs> the incredible answer is next. Marisol's 17th paternity test. 
Will she find the father today? We trusted our babysitter, Jessica, to watch our kids. We had no idea she was having sex with our son when he was only 14. Jessica showed up at our house, claiming our son Steven is the father of her baby. Do you ever think sons. could you be a grandfather your age? Not at 35, boy, I ain't crazy. <laughs> I know Don and Amy hired me to be their babysitter, but here are the facts. I had sex with Steven for several months behind their backs. And he is the father of my daughter, Cheyenne. Shut the hell up! You're leaving him! You're leaving him! You were hired to babysit the kids three years ago. How come you messed around with the 14-year-old? Because you were telling us that's why. He was 14. Hey, hey, you were hey, 19. That's the hey, reason. Hey, it takes two to tango! He was 19. You were 14. Correct. It's too hard to take care of a baby. Steven. You need to grow up. Yeah. Oh, child, look. She's got my nose, Mari. She has your nose? Yes. She, no, she does not got your nose. She's she got your mama's the pictures, nose. Does. Look at her. Look. She has got her nose. Oh, she does. When it comes to three-year-old Cheyenne, Steven, you are not yeah. In you, honey. I trusted you from day one. I told you she was honey. lying. No, you real ticket you. stops here, girl. See no, you, Pennsylvania. You, honey. You know I trust so, young you, mother, honey. don't jump all over her. It's over, okay? I know, Maury. You Thank got you. the result you wanted. Yes, sir. All right? Thank you so much, Maury. Okay. God now, bless you. Stephen, Stephen, this is, not, this is not your child, all right? And this is a much older woman, and you have a whole life in front of you. So you ought to think real hard whether you want to get involved with a woman who already has a child, all right? Because that means your teenage years are finished. I know, but I'm going to step up and be a father, Mark. I don't think you should, son. I really don't. I understand that child needs a father, but I think the child should have its real father, okay? You're not in a position at 17 years old to be a father. Nobody is. You're all too young. We have a late-breaking paternity update on Jessica that's unbelievable, and it's next. Marisol's 17th paternity test. Will she find the father today? You are not... Don and Amy just found out that even though their 14-year-old son, Steven, had an affair with his babysitter, Jessica... This teen boy is not the father of his babysitter's three-year-old daughter. I told you she was lying. Oh, you mail ticket stops here, girl. Don't jump all over her. It's over, okay? I know, Maury. You got you. the result you wanted. Yes, sir. All right? Thank you so much, Maury. Okay. God now, bless you. Steven, this is not your child, all right? In a shocking turn of events, Jessica's coming back to the show for a second DNA test. You thought it was Steven the last time you were so sure of that. Because now she claims the real father of her baby is Steven's own stepfather. Don! No! Hell no! There ain't no way she's alive! Make sure to watch Mari every day to see this babysitter's incredible second DNA test. How could you do that to me? Don! Thanks for watching, everyone. Until next time, America. I thought you loved me.